Hello, Scorpio. I hope you're doing well. This is going to be for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So let's see what's going on for the sign of Scorpio. All right. Um, you can be watching this for your sidereal sign or your Western. It doesn't really matter as long as it resonates. However, I am a 13 size astrologer. So if you would like to get your chart read by me, you can check out the link in the description box. I also have uh, products down there as well. If you guys want to check out the website, I've added a bunch of new stuff. So if you haven't been to my store in a while, you might want to check it out. And I also do personal tarot readings too. So all that good stuff is down in the description box. You guys can find it. All right. So we have Jupiter return. Ooh, I love that card. So Jupiter return. Uh, a lot of you guys are experiencing um, a push from that Jupiter uh, return, not Jupiter return, but the, uh, Jupiter direct energy that we're going through. Okay. So, um, that might be something, I mean, some of you guys might be having your Jupiter return right now. I don't think so, but it, you know, it's a generational thing. It just really depends, um, on what your chart looks like. I can't really tell without looking at your chart. So if you are going to through a Jupiter return, it is a very beneficial and auspicious time for you. Okay. Um, especially those who have like, uh, your son, um, your sun and your Jupiter are like really good aspects or something like that, right? So I won't get too much into astrology. I could talk all day about it if I do. But for the most part, this does mean that like luck is on your side. If you're trying to start some financial stuff, it's a really good time for that. A business or anything that expands your finances would be a good investment right now. So definitely push for those things definitely focus on those things you also have the ninth house at the bottom of the deck which is another jupiter card um so this is definitely talking about having faith in your ability to expand your finances and this might be through communicating more some of you guys might become communicators or start doing more on social media okay some of you might be going through your saturn return look at that north node look at that life's purpose okay so you're really shifting your focus into how can I expand my finances? How can I be more than what I am right now? As far as like what you're doing, what you're offering to the world. A lot of you feel like you're too, you're too dope for a nine to five. And I would agree, you know, I would agree. If that's what you don't feel like you want to do, then don't, you don't have to. But of course, if you want a nine to five, just make sure that they're treating you with the respect and uh, giving you the opportunities that you deserve, right? So we have the four of pentacles. Okay, so a lot of you guys have been in a place financially that you don't really like. It's not necessarily feeling like you don't have money, but you're not able to spend or move about the way that you would like to. We do have the nine of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So again, if you're thinking about starting a business, I would do that. We have the two of cups. If you're holding on to a relationship right now, you might want to like give that space. I'm not saying you have to let it go, but you might want to give it space because it could be blocking your finances, especially if you have someone who is more not on the same page as you. OK, like someone who may not want the same things. Yeah, I knew it. The hangman. There is a relationship around you guys that's keeping you stagnant. It's too confusing. We have the seven of cups. This could be a friendship uh, as well, but the Jupiter return, I don't know, this could be someone you're even married to or you think about getting married to, which is fine, but it's it's it needs to be put on pause right now because it's stopping your growth financially, all right? Jupiter wants to come in and offer you some really good things. For some of you, uh, maybe you're stuck on someone that you believe is going to be your spouse, but spirit is like, if you would open up to the possibilities, you could meet someone who actually will marry you and be in a relationship with you. Um, because you're not clearing space for that person. You're so stuck on, okay, this is this person and it is what it is, okay? Uh, this person could be a Capricorn, a Cancer, a Pisces, or even a Leo for some of you, um, another Scorpio. But uh, just make sure that you're not dead set on one thing right now when it comes to your relationships. And if this is someone you want to stay with, like I said, that's fine. But just realize you and your person might have different thought processes on what you want to do and um they might not be the most supportive and you might need to just create space for to do a lot of these things on your own okay right now so let me get more about this hangman really quick for scorpio yep ten of wands seven cups if you're in some in a relationship or a connection that keeps you forever confused you don't know which way it's going one way or this way one way or that way or are we going to be in a relate? Anything that makes you have to question things when it comes to your partnerships right now, please move out that energy out of the way because it's really one thing is going to happen. Either this person is going to shape up, they're going to shape up and they're going to be what you need them to be. This Leo, this Capricorn, this Virgo, this Aries, this Gemini, whoever, they're going to be who you need them to be. 
or you're going to meet someone who's actually about that life, okay, and better suits what you want for your life. So just be open to that, all right, Scorpio? Um, if you are a sidereal Scorpio, that sounds crazy because you're very fixed, right? But you'll be all right. So let's see. What's going on for your love oracles? All right, the card that wanted to come out was Broken Chalice. Yeah, there might be someone that you're not even connected to right now, but there's like a, a longing for that person or when are they going to come back or when are we going to move forward? Prior obligation in reverse. And you fit into me like a hook into an eye. So it's like this person... There may be, they may be using the excuse of another situation they're already they were already in before they met you or like they could be using their work as a reason why they can't pay attention to this relationship or be there for you the way they need to be but honestly that's not a good reason prior obligation is in reverse so that's actually not a reason um so a lot of your cards already came out we have the nine of cups for this person's thoughts so i feel like this person is someone who's kind of selfish I just don't believe what they're saying. Like, they're saying, oh, I can't be with you because I have to stay in this relationship I've already been in and this, this, and that. But that's not true. Um, I just feel like your person could leave that situation if they wanted to. You also have the Three of Swords. So this, again, tells me that you're probably not talking to this person. You probably realize that about them, Scorpio. Like, you probably realize that this person was just saying what they what they wanted to say to keep you around to basically get the benefits from you without having to put that work in okay um they could speak to you more often if they wanted to they could take you out on dates they could spend more time with you if they wanted to but yet they're they're saying that because they don't want to put the effort in they don't they they like being lazy in this relationship you have someone who's not pulling their weight and i mean i think that they're aware of that with the nine of cups they realize that you're something that they really do love, but they also um, maybe have taken advantage of. Like, maybe this person realizes that they took advantage of you. And you have to look at that. Like, if this person knows that they're taking advantage of you and they're not trying to do the work to fix it, I can see why you walked away or why you just told this person, like, hey, I need space. Or you didn't. You just walked away. Whatever you did or whatever you will do when it comes to this person, it feels like it's justified, okay? Um, I don't think it's over with this person just because the Three of Swords is here. The Three of Swords to me is uh, more of a temporary separation, okay? Um, I do feel like you are dealing with somebody who has a little bit of an ego and someone who might be used to kind of getting what they want. I don't know why I'm just getting really big Leo energy off of this person or Gemini or something. Uh, so what we are going to do is go into the extended and we're going to see what's going to happen with this person. We're going to look at what's going on outside of the connection between you two. We're also going to look at the outcome. We're going to do some more clarifying, and we're also going to pull some oracles to get some messages from your person. So if you want to follow me over there, do so. Your 18 plus read is also posted on Patreon. So if you guys want to check that out, that is the only place I can post the 18 plus reading. So all of that is on Patreon. You get access to all the signs that I put on Patreon, all the readings over there. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the extended. Thank you so much for your support, Scorpio. See you soon. Peace.